I don't know if it's the curmudgeon in me or what, but I'm going to get on my soapbox for a little bit here and talk about people not looking up. Come on, people, get off your phones. <laughs> Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. We have a problem in our society, and it's been getting worse over the years. Too many people are looking down at their phones. You can't walk along the street, stand in line at the grocery store, or even drive down the highway without seeing someone looking at their phone. It's gotten so bad you can't even have a conversation with some people because they're always playing with their phone. The phone has become permanently attached to their hands. It's become an addiction. And yes, it's even a health risk. Now, a few issues brought this up. First, I caught myself doing this. I was standing in line at the store, got bored, and started thumbing through the apps on my iPhone. A cashier came over to let me know another lane had opened up. I had to look up, refocus, and fumble around to put the phone away so I could go check out. My iPhone has become my primary communications device. It's how family, friends, coworkers, and clients get hold of me. It's within reach at all times. If it's not in my pocket, it's in my hands. And when it's not on my person, it's sitting on the desk at work or on the living room table while I'm watching TV, or it's on the nightstand as I sleep. When did this happen? How did this object become tethered to me? I've become a minor member of the Borg Collective. We are the Borg. Lower your shields and surrender your ships. We will add your biological and technological distinctiveness to our own. Your culture will adapt to service us. Resistance is futile. Also, my neck has been bothering me lately. Physically looking down is straining the muscles in my neck. You'll find many articles on text neck. I'll link to a few in the show notes. It's a condition where you can actually damage your spine by looking down all the time. Not only do you injure the muscles attached to your spine and your neck, you can damage the nerves contained within your spine. So, you know, you got to look up. Now, uh, another issue strikes close to home. A few days ago, just a few miles down the road from where I live, a lady was driving down the highway looking at her phone, not paying attention, and struck two people riding bicycles. She killed one of them and sent the other to a trauma center. That right there is absolutely horrible. But it gets even more heartbreaking when you find out these two were bicycling across America to raise money for charity. They had just left Tulsa where they spent time working with Habitat for Humanity. Looking at your phone while you're driving gets people killed. Now, is that clear enough for you? On November 1st of this year, it will be illegal to text and drive in Oklahoma. If you're behind the wheel, law enforcement can and will pull you over if they catch you on your phone. It's a $100 fine. Think you can afford that? I think that's a small price to pay if it prevents you from causing an accident. So let's all, me including, Take this opportunity to evaluate how we use our phones. Let's reduce the time we spend on them, especially when we're out in public. Put your phone in your pocket or your purse and look up. <laughs> Talk to the people around you. See the scenery. Be aware of your environment. And hopefully, we can all be a better society for it. Okay, that's enough of my soapbox. What do you think? Good news, everyone. You can now listen to the Blog Oklahoma podcast on Stitcher. Listen anytime, anywhere. Stitcher is an award-winning free app that lets you listen to all your favorite shows. Available on iOS, Android, and in over 4 million car dashboards. Wow. <laughs> Download it for free today at stitcher.com or in the App Store. 
To get our show, you can just search in the app for Blog Oklahoma Podcast or use the shortcut blogoklahoma.net slash Stitcher. We have more interesting shares in the show notes bonus links. We have something vast, something not dead, and something covered. So please check it out in the show notes for this episode at blogoklahoma.net. I also want to wish a very, very happy birthday to my brother Scott. I'm happy to announce, as of August 2nd, 2015, Blog Oklahoma has 886 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get old to me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. And as soon as this car passes, I'll finish this recording. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time. Stupid car. <laughs> I wonder if that recorded.